Yo, what's up, swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy Keon Lara, aka KL Swag. Back you with a video, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You gotta have a moment of silence, real quick, bro. Okay. Dwayne Haskins has passed away, you guys. I'm not going to lie, when I saw this, bro, on Twitter, bro, and just, I don't know, man. It was just, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy because this was a guy that I was watching, like, in college, bro. Like, I love college football. I played it. Um, I love watching it, bro. And it's like, Dwayne Haskins played at Ohio State, bro. Guy drafted to the Washington you know, uh, to, to, to Washington football, bro, you know, had a pretty good career there. And after that, you know, he went to the Steelers, bro. And the thing that, like, it kind of, like, hurts me the most is that dude was 24 years old, young, bro, in his 20s. <sighs> it's this microphone, bro. Let's get into the reaction, man. Let's get into it. Yeah. What you think? Yeah. Damn, man. As a YouTube channel, and that was in 2008. Do you do you guys understand? That's not even that far away. We are in 2020. Two. Does football hey, news man. on the channel? Twenty-four the worst cases of news. I mean, the absolute worst case of news that I could ever report on this channel. It's when someone passes away. Even more specifically, what's even worse than that is when the individual passes away in his mid-twenties. That's incredibly premature. Yeah. Dwayne Haskins was younger than I am, and he died at the age of 25. Now, before we get to this video, we're going to begin with a brief 10-second moment of silence. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's, let's get, get to the, the video. video. There's not, not going to be an intro for this video. video. The very first thing I want to address is, and I don't want this to overshadow the video because a part of this video needs to be the celebration of Dwayne Haskins' life. Yeah. And this very first part, unfortunately, doesn't really have much to do with Dwayne Haskins, but more to do so with the way his death was reported. Yeah. Because the very first tweet we got about this entire situation was none other than from ESPN's lead NFL insider, Adam Schefter. Now, okay. Adam Schefter has a history of really trying to get those stories out as quickly as possible. And as a result of rushing some stories, unfortunately, he said some pretty horrible things. And in this latest instance, he tweeted out, Dwayne Haskins, a standout at Ohio State, before... I'm going to just move it for you guys, bro, just in case you guys want to pause it or anything and read it you guys yourselves. I mean, even though he's reading it, too, i just do it for you guys, bro. Struggling to catch on with Washington and Pittsburgh in the NFL, died this morning when he got hit by a car in South Florida Damn. for his agent, Cedric Saunders. Haskins would have turned 25 years old on May 3rd. Look, I understand wow. whatever his career was. Bro, and his birthday was about to come up, too? Bro, oh my gosh. To your opinion, was whatever his career was to your opinion, I don't need to hear the struggling part. You know, this is more than just a football player. This is more than just a story. This is a human being that had a family, that has a life story that unfortunately is going to be unwritten. And if you really want to comment on Dwayne Haskins' quote-unquote struggles, he was a dominant football player in college. And in addition to that, this year, was going to be the year that could have been completely different in his life. Yeah. He finally caught on with a team that believed in him in the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. They were going to have an open quarterback competition at the QB position. And as a matter of fact, do you know where he was when he died? Ben Nassie Harris, can I have your autograph, please? Your yeah, Burberry? Yeah, money. Yeah, money on. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, Rub your chest. chest. Ah, peace. Ah, Damn. Yeah. According to Adam Schefter, Dwayne Haskins was training in South Florida with other Steelers quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers. He was killed this morning in South Florida when he got hit with a vehicle. So pretty much what, what? we understand went down 
is Mitchell Trubisky the brand new quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers or one of the brand new quarterbacks for the Pittsburgh Steelers invited down a bunch of players from the Steelers organization so they can get to know one another because this year's Steelers team might look a little bit different than last year's Steelers team which is a phenomenal gesture and a great team chemistry building exercise. Dwayne Haskins was there to get to know his new teammates a little bit better and you could definitely make a strong argument that after being in the league for a few years and finally being in a stable organization with no defined quarterback on the roster, at least not yet, to succeed Ben Roethlisberger, you could have made the argument that this could have been Dwayne Haskins' opportunity to potentially make a push to become the starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not going to get that opportunity because he died at the age of 24. The Washington Commanders and owners had this to say, we are devastated to hear the news of the tragic passing of Dwayne Haskins Jr. He was a young man with a tremendous amount of potential who had an infectious personality. To say we are heartbroken is an understatement. Our hearts and prayers are with the members of Dwayne's family and all of those who knew him and loved him. Mike Tomlin, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, had this to say about the incident. I am devastated and at a loss for words with the unfortunate passing of Dwayne Haskins. He quickly became part of our Steelers family upon his arrival in Pittsburgh and was one of our hardest workers both on the field and in our community. Dwayne was a great teammate, but even more so a tremendous friend to so many. I am truly heartbroken. Our thoughts and prayers are with his wife and his entire family during this difficult time. To put things into perspective for you guys, the NFL draft is within the next 20 days. And do you know how old Kenny Pickett is, who is considered to be one of the top quarterback prospects in this year's NFL draft? He is 23 years old. Dwayne Haskins is passing away at the age of 24. He had a lot more football to live, and more importantly, a lot more life to live. Ultimately, it's wow. horrific news to receive on Saturday morning. Dwayne Haskins was incredibly young. He had a lot more life to live, and he died at the age of 24. My yeah. personal condolences go out to his entire family and his loved ones. I don't know him personally, but from the videos that I see of him, he seemed, he seemed to have been a remarkable, remarkable human being. I was just starting to figure it out professionally. And yeah. profession is just one of many facets of a person's life. It just, it seems like he was a well-liked individual and a genuine good dude, and it's a shame to see him go so soon. I apologize if the tone of this video is a little bit different than most of my other content. Yeah. And I hope the next video I make is way more positive or isn't hey, as serious man. as someone unfortunately passes away prematurely. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload. Hey, man, it's just... It's like that, bro. I don't even know what to say about that one, man. I'll see you guys in the next video, bro. Damn, bro. Crazy. 24 years old, man. Love you guys, man. Stay swagged up and stay prayed up.